Just got back uh, from a run, and I showered, of course. Uh, took Saint for about a mile. He enjoyed it. He's tired now. It is very warm today, but you know, sometimes it just get, feels good to get out there and sweat a bit. So, thankful that I had the opportunity to do that today. I am off work today. Um, part of my run, I actually did run to work. Um, it's about a mile away. And uh, we're configuring some stuff for our online virtual fittings. And uh, we're pretty much all set up on that now, so should be starting those soon. About to edit uh, my vlog from yesterday and get that up so I can have today's video posted. And then uh, Courtney and I might run some errands in a bit. So I'm just finishing up the edit on yesterday's video of me reviewing um, the fake AirPods that I did. It's rendering right now. Um, they seem to work well so far. Like the most difficult thing is getting them to connected to devices. Um, like it took a while to get them connected to my phone yesterday. <gasps> And then uh, eventually got them connected, and then I got them connected to Courtney's phone eventually for her to try out after I got home from work. And then I tried connecting to my MacBook this morning, and that was a process too. I don't really know what fixed it or what took so long, um, but I eventually got it working. And uh, it seems to still sync to my phone. Like once once it's synced to a device, it seems to be all right. But it's getting it synced is an issue for whatever reason. But they sound good. I went for a run with them earlier. Um, they stayed in my ears just fine. It was, um, when I had my phone, I had it in like my spy belt and I had it on my back. And when it was on my back, it was like cutting out a little bit. But when I switched it around to the front, it was cut, it was just fine. It wouldn't think it'd be much of a difference between the front and the back, but apparently it was having an issue when it was back there. Um, but like when I had it connected to either my phone or my MacBook earlier, I walked into the other room and it was still connected. So I don't know really know what the issue was. Um, about to go run some errands here in a second. We're gonna go to the dog food store. Willa, what do you want from the food store? What do you want from the food store? You want, you want, uh, can I get some kind of bone for you? You want a bone? Sin, Sin, do you want a bone? Let me get you guys a giant bone see if you share it. Probably won't. We're just leaving the dog food store. We did the curbside pickup and picked up a absolutely massive bone. It's like an ostrich femur and Willa is going to have a blast with it. I don't even know if she'll let Saint touch it, but she won't. we'll, we'll try touch. We'll try to give it to him <laughs> first, maybe. No, she's going to kill him. She's not going to kill him. She's Saint can be scary. Court, I got Courtney out of the house today. She hasn't left the car yet, but she is out of the house. Yeah. Last time she's been out of the house was March 29th, so it's been 12, 13 days, yeah. something like that. Can't math right now. Can't math right now, okay. It's been a while. Yep. I'm nervous. It's like if you already had anxiety about leaving the house, like if you already had agoraphobia, then like now that you, I've been stuck inside for like over a month, it's like... Now it's even harder to leave the house. So that's a negative. So we are going to be going to the grocery store to get some random things. Probably need some more snacks. Yeah. I don't know if any more salsa. Needs more Ch snacks. Chips and salsa, really. <laughs> um, and maybe some, some food things. Some actual food. Yeah. But Courtney wants to make some kind of something sweet because like we haven't had like anything something. sweet in the house like lately after we finished our ice cream from my last grocery trip so yeah we've had a lot there's an abundance of like chips and no i feel like we're down stuff. down on chips now like i'm just saying like we have had an abundance yeah and not so much sweet stuff so yeah it's been mostly salty things instead of sweet things but we are now headed to the store so we can fix that We'll see how it goes. Yeah. All right, back in the car, just left the store. And um, one thing, I don't know if all Publixes are doing this or not. Publix, Publixes, I'm not sure which. I don't know if all Publix are doing this, but they had um, blue tape on the aisles indicating which direction that aisle, all the aisles were now one way. And so you're supposed to follow the direction of the arrows 
And for the most part, <clears throat> no one really seemed to be paying too much attention to it. But we went down one of the aisles and one of the public employees like told someone off. She was like, nope, you gotta go around. All the aisles are one way now. they were now. trying to restock there and then people were getting like real close to each other because they were trying to squeeze in. And that's how, it's trying to prevent that. Like it's not supposed to be people squeezing past. It's yeah. supposed to be like one person at a time. It's just like keeping people distance from each other really. And most people were wearing masks, I feel like. Yeah, I would say most people at, at the store were wearing masks. We wore masks. We were wearing masks. Thank you, Trish, for the masks. Uh, come on. Um, yeah. It was kind of eerie. Like, very calm, and it wasn't like everyone was kind of there just to, like, get it done, I feel like. I don't know. Yeah. Which we, is how it should be. We, yeah, I mean, we, we weren't, like, planning to go to the store. We were just going to the dog food store, and then we were going to get some food. But Courtney mentioned something about wanting to make brownies, so we figured, well, we might as well just go to the store. There's stuff we can restock on anyway, and then, you know, that way it's over with, and we don't have to go to the store again for a while. So Courtney's kind of been avoiding the store lately. She hasn't gone for a while, but we went. It's all right. Survived. Survived. So now we can go home. We'll see you in 14 days if I picked it up. Like I said, I I'm, think I've already I'm, had it. I'm still going to work right now, so I mean, whether you go to the store or not, you're probably getting exposed to it. Yeah, but you're only exposed to like a small. Well, yeah, we're not really doing like people. we're not really like fitting people in the store or anything like that. We're, you know, we're just doing like curbside and, like delivery, so we're not really like you're really just contact exposed people too much. to like the people that you work with. Right. Yep. All right. Back home, time to unload these groceries and give these dogs this gigantic bone. All right, Saint Saint, what do I got? What do I got? What do I have? What do I have? Oh my goodness, look at it. Huge. It's as big as you. All right, let me open it up. What do I do? You guys, can you both chew on it at the same time? Willa, you have to share. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I want it, but I don't want to take it away from Zizzy. You put it down, she's going to take it. Right off of the... I feel like you I need to hold it for now. Pick it up. Pick it up a lot. 